At the instant of the Big Bang, there should have been equal quantities of matter, antimatter, which annihilated, driving the Big Bang. Mm -hmm. So, by rights, we shouldn't be here. Right. This is one of the greatest mysteries in all of physics. We are clueless to understand why. And like I said, if you want to win a Nobel Prize. <laughs> Scientists at CERN announced that something weird was going on after they turned on the Large Hadron Collider. When scientists at CERN turned on the huge Large Hadron Collider, they noticed something strange. What they saw inside the Large Hadron Collider shocked them and made them doubt everything they knew. So what discovery scientists have made at CERN that have left them scratching their heads? Join us to delve into Mikio Kaku's unsettling announcement about a strange discovery at CERN that has shaken the entire scientific community. CERN, the European Laboratory for Particle Physics located near Geneva, Switzerland, is renowned for its groundbreaking work in the field of particle physics. At the heart of CERN's research is the Large Hadron Collider, a colossal device engineered to propel subatomic particles to staggering energies, allowing scientists to explore their interactions. The L in LHC, which stands for large, hardly does justice to its colossal scale. This mammoth accelerator has a circular tunnel spanning approximately 16.7 miles. The middle letter, H, signifies hadron a term encompassing composite particles like protons formed from smaller building blocks known as quarks. The final letter, C, represents collider, as the LHC propels two particle beams in opposing directions, with the pivotal scientific events occurring when these beams collide. The primary objective of the LHC, like any physics experiment, is to put theoretical predictions to the test. In this case, it seeks to scrutinize the standard model of particle physics, identifying potential discrepancies or gaps. Strangely, physicists are eager to discover such deviations in the standard model, as it is only by doing so that they can address unanswered questions related to enigmas like dark matter and dark energy. While the LHC was inaugurated in 2009, C. Urin's history reaches back much further. It traces its origins to 1955, when the European Council for Nuclear Research recommended its establishment. During the period between its inception and the opening of the LHC, CERN played a pivotal role in a series of momentous discoveries, including weak neutral currents, light neutrinos, and the W and Z bosons. One of the universe's most intriguing mysteries pertains to the apparent abundance of matter compared to antimatter. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe's initial conditions were expected to feature equal quantities of both. Nevertheless, in the early moments of the universe's existence, most of the antimatter mysteriously vanished, leaving behind the ordinary matter we observe today. This perplexing asymmetry is scientifically termed CP violation and stands as a major focus of the Large Hadron Collider's LHC experiment. All hadrons consist of quarks, with LHC be concentrating on particles that involve a rare type of quark known as beauty. Investigating CP violation and particles containing beauty is a promising approach to shed light on the emergence of matter-antimatter asymmetry in the early universe. CERN houses not only the LHC but also other significant facilities, one of which links particle physics to climate science. CERN's proton synchrotron accommodates the c load experiment. It explores the concept that cosmic rays play a role in cloud formation by initiating the creation of minuscule water droplets in the Earth's atmosphere. To examine this process in detail, CER employs the accelerator to generate artificial cosmic rays, allowing a closer investigation of their effects on an artificial atmosphere. Within the same underground location as LHCB, we find Mo DL, also called the monopole and exotics detector, a relatively smaller instrument with an unconventional purpose. While most CERN experiments focus on studying known particles, MOGDL's aim is to uncover particles outside the established standard model that remain unobserved. For instance, monopoles, particles exclusively featuring one magnetic pole, have been hypothesized but never detected. Mohideal is designed to search for monopoles created in LHC collisions 
and may also detect certain stable massive particles foreseen in theories beyond the standard model. If successful, this experiment could contribute to resolving fundamental questions concerning the existence of other dimensions or the nature of dark matter. Antimatter can emerge temporarily within Seeyorn's high-energy accelerators as one half of a particle-antiparticle pair. However, these antiparticles usually have a short lifespan, quickly annihilating upon collision with ordinary particles. To investigate and study antimatter that persists for an extended duration, CURN operates the antimatter factory. This facility receives antiparticles generated in the proton synchrotron and decelerates them to manageable speeds, effectively performing the opposite function of a particle accelerator through the antiproton decelerator. The resulting antiatoms can then undergo a thorough examination with various instruments. The Large Hadron Collider recommenced operations on April 22, 2022, after undergoing three years of maintenance and enhancements. It served as a vital tool to scrutinize the theoretical predictions of particle physics, especially those associated with the standard model. While the standard model effectively explains most phenomena in particle physics, Fundamental questions such as the nature of dark matter, dark energy, and the imbalance between matter and antimatter remain unanswered. The LHC plays a pivotal role in our quest for answers by recreating conditions present within a billionth of a second after the Big Bang. One of the most remarkable milestones in the history of the LHC occurred in 2012 with the discovery of the Higgs boson. While often referred to as the God Particle, its importance lies in the fact that it was the last prediction of the standard model awaiting experimental confirmation. Beyond the Higgs boson, the LHC has unveiled approximately 60 new hadrons, complex particles formed from various quark combinations. Yet these newly discovered particles still fall within the confines of the standard model, leaving many scientists hoping for a breakthrough into alternative theories. A promising sign emerged in 2021 when analysis of LHC data indicated subtle deviations from the standard model, fueling anticipation for a potential paradigm shift. At the brink of groundbreaking discoveries in physics, scientists are eager to leverage the upgraded capabilities of the Large Hadron Collider to delve into the mysteries of the Higgs boson, delve into dark matter, and potentially advance our comprehension of the standard model, which serves as the leading theory encompassing all known fundamental forces and elementary particles in the universe. CERN has introduced significant upgrades to the LHC, particularly augmenting the power of its injectors, responsible for supplying accelerated particle beams into the collider. As of the last shutdown in 2018, the LHC could accelerate beams to an energy of 6.5 terelectron volts, a figure that has now been elevated to 6.8 terelectron volts. To put this in perspective, a single terelectron volt equals 1 trillion electron volts. This amplification of proton beam energies demands the superconducting magnets that guide these beams to operate at significantly higher currents. After a prolonged period of inactivity, with the LHC's magnets conditioned and proton beams more potent than ever, the LHC stands poised to create collisions at energies unprecedented in its history. This expansion of capabilities broadens the horizons of what scientists can potentially discover using this upgraded equipment. Following the conclusion of the LHC's ongoing run in 2024, CER and scientists plan another shutdown for a planned overhaul involving further enhancements to the colossal particle accelerator. When this endeavor is completed, the LHC will be rebranded as the High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider, set to resume operations in 2028. Notably, the LHC is reliant on a network of ancillary machines. Before particles, typically protons, but occasionally heavier lead ions for specific experiments, are introduced into the LHC, they pass through a succession of smaller accelerators, gradually boosting their velocity. It's essential to acknowledge that smaller is a relative term. The final stage of the injector chain, the superproton synchrotron, spans nearly 4.3 miles in circumference. This intricate process results in two beams traveling in opposite directions around the LHC at nearly the speed of light. 
A robust magnetic field keeps these beams on their circular trajectories, affecting the paths of electrically charged particles. At four specific points encircling the LHC's vast ring, these opposing beams are converged and induced to collide, marking the crux of scientific experiments. These high-energy collisions produce a cascade of new particles, most of which are exceedingly short-lived. Scientists are tasked with the challenging mission of identifying and characterizing these particles. To facilitate this endeavor, the LHC boasts a suite of advanced particle detectors, each comprising layers of subdetectors designed to measure specific particle properties or search for particular particle types. For instance, calorimeters gauge a particle's energy, while a particle's curved path within a magnetic field divulges information regarding its electric charge and momentum. Two of the four collision points encircling the LHC are occupied by extensive general-purpose detectors. One such detector is the compact muon solenoid, often likened to a colossal 3D camera capable of capturing images of particles at a rate of up to 40 million per second. The paths of particles within the detector are influenced by a massive electromagnet known as a solenoid. Despite its immense weight of 12,500 metric tons, it remains relatively compact, as suggested by the compact in its name. The inclusion of muon refers to an elusive, relatively massive particle akin to the electron, necessitating the presence of an array of subdetectors encircling the solenoid. Recent reports suggest that physicists at CERN have unearthed a profusion of novel exotic particles generated in collisions catalyzed by the Large Hadron Collider over recent years. This influx of discoveries has been so extensive that it has become a challenge to categorize and name them. In response, scientists have developed a fresh nomenclature to establish a semblance of order within this growing list. The LHC has emerged as a fertile ground for the observation of new types of particles known as hadrons. These subatomic entities are composed of two or more quarks. Traditionally, they come in two categories. Baryons, exemplified by protons and neutrons comprising the atomic nucleus, composed of three quarks, and mesons, composed of a quark and an antiquark. While there are only six distinct types of quarks and five of them form hadrons, the myriad possible combinations result in a vast array of hadrons. In the 1980s, particle physicists developed a naming convention for this diverse hadron zoo, assigning a symbol to each particle, facilitating the identification of its quark composition. However, in recent years, scientists have come to realize that more complex hadrons could exist, including tetraquarks and pentaquarks. The lack of coherence in the nomenclature for these new particles has led to some confusion, emphasizing the importance of a consistent naming scheme in particle physics. Researchers anticipate that this fresh nomenclature will aid in the ongoing quest to decipher phenomena that currently defy comprehensive mathematical understanding. If you found this video interesting, please leave a thumbs up. What are your thoughts on the safety of the LHC? Please feel free to share your insights in the comments section below.